Hey guys, Shaber1000 here. Let's do some camping and fishing. Stay tuned. Okay guys, we are all set up. There's the tent. Bruno, stop, please. There's the tent. I'm getting ready to make a fire. I moved the fire ring over because this is what the last person left in the fire ring. And I wasn't about to try to cook in that. So I moved it. Guys, please don't do that. I mean, it even tells you on the website, you know, there's the bathrooms over there. But it tells you on the website, you know, there's no there's no dumpster here. So if you pack it in, pack it out, which I wholeheartedly agree with because I figure if I can bring it in, I can bring it out. Well, this stuff here really makes me mad. And it's right here beside, you know, our camp. And, you know, it just looks, looks bad. So we moved it over here. You know, we didn't bring any trash bags. We just got... We brought um, uh, the plastic grocery bags for our tray, so I don't have enough to even pick that up, which I shouldn't have to anyway, but I would. I still wouldn't have cooked in there because you don't know if somebody took a piss in there or what. So I wasn't about to cook on it. So we just moved the fire ring over here. It's monkey relax, and I got a pull in the water only because I left my worm on last time I was fishing when I had the boat out here. We slept right down here on the boat. And see, so there we go. We, <laughs> they wasn't even with me, but <laughs> that's where I slept on the boat. Mm -hmm. uh, if it ain't raining, maybe we'll go for a walk and look for Bigfoot. Yeah. You wanna do Bigfoot hunt? Yeah. I think the bears, the bears should be okay. I don't know, this is Florida. They don't hibernate like they do up north. Though. No, but they slow down. Yeah. <laughs> just gotta be careful so anyway that's why that's in there uh but yeah we're all set up this is our little set set up here so pretty nice so i'll get you set up on the tripod and i'll make a fire here shortly we'll take a little break bruno please quit he's got allergies he scratches sometimes we got to put this collar on him it's not actually a cone it's a real soft collar keeps him from doing that but we didn't bring it we probably should have but so anyway there's what we got nice view i put the door here yeah. so that way when monkey gets out gets up in the morning she's going to have this view right here so <laughs> and she can sit right there and drink her coffee and yeah. look out over there so all right guys I'm gonna have to, that's my fishing pole stand there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's how I'm gonna have to make her one, I guess. All right guys, stay tuned for more fun and exciting stuff. Bruno, stop. You wanna be on camera? Quit scratching. <laughs> look, look up here. Look up here, let's see your. <laughs> I wanna show you teddy bear cut. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We'll be back guys, brought this. I don't think we'll need it, but if it does rain and the wood gets wet or something, I mean like the wood, we can put some wood in the tent. We've got plenty of room in there to keep it dry, but uh, if we need to, we've got this. So um, in, in case, just in case. Uh, so yeah, we've got, some food here we'll keep the food in the truck at night yeah. so the bears don't smell it uh, we should be all right because everybody cooks out here you know on the fires and stuff we should be okay nobody's had a problem nobody's had any issues with the bears so anyway maybe with shea bear if they keep doing that stupid stuff right there yeah, idiots i hate that i hate that 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 makes that makes all of us campers look bad you know all right, guys, I'll be back with you. Can you see it? Hey, yes. Whose fish is this? Mine. I caught it. Yay. 
So, monkey caught a, is this your biggest fish ever? Yeah, yeah, I'd say so, yeah, yeah. We're going to measure him here as soon as I get his, get the hook out. Yeah, he's having trouble getting the hook out. I don't, I didn't bring my pliers, so. Is there anything on this one? No, nope, I need pliers, huh? But. He's cool. Okay guys, let's go ahead and get this fire started. I don't know how many strikes this is going to take. I'm going to use the ferro rod. I wanted to use my uh, um, uh, magnesium flint stick, but I thought it was in my tackle box, but it must be in the garage. So we're just going to use this. Uh, I don't have anything on here, just this stuff, so I don't know how many strikes it's going to take but we'll see I got some other stuff over here to the left of us sorry I should have put my mic on wasn't even thinking Anyway, monkey's killing it today, man. She's slaughtering the fish. And that's all it took, one strike. I was thinking four. Let's now break up some of these. One strike, huh? And there we go. We got our fire going. Well, I better back you up here a little bit. I'm gonna to tend to the fire and I'll be right back with you. Okay guys, we got it going. That was just some stuff I picked up laying around here. Uh, the squirrels try to use that stuff and they shred it up and they make nests out of them. So, monkey just missed one apparently. Oh. Did you miss him? Yeah. Was he big? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, you need to slow down a little and let me catch up. I know, and we could trade spots. You want to trade spots? No, I'm just teasing you. You go ahead and have fun. Okay, so we're going to let this... I'm going to throw some logs on the fire here in a minute, and we'll let them burn down to coals, and then we're going to try out our, our new grill. Because we brought some steaks, and we got some potatoes. Fry up some potatoes. I'll probably use that for the potatoes. Yeah. So, all right, guys. I'll be back with you. Yay. Yeah. All right, fish number one for me. Nice catfish. Yeah, he got a big belly. He's about a half a pound, maybe a pound. So, four more and I'll catch up the monk. Yeah. All right, so, I try to get this hook out of his mouth. Gonna do some more fishing, so stay tuned. I went up the river there about 50 yards and some trees and yeah, uh, logs and stuff in there. So, yeah, it didn't take you long once you went up there. Nope, uh -uh. less than five minutes. Yeah. He's saying, talking to you. Yeah, he's talking to me. Aww. All right. Okay. Okay, guys. In this clip, as you probably guessed, I had mic issues. And not so much as mic issues as it was human error. 
That's right. I left the receiver on top of the camera and I didn't unplug it. So, because I was in the tent, I didn't think that, you know, I knew I wasn't going to need the wireless mic. So, you know, I didn't bring the other part of the mic. But I wasn't thinking that I have to unplug the receiver in order for the camera mic to work. So, I, yeah, that's right, I didn't, uh... I didn't unplug it, so it recorded no audio. What we're doing here is we're just talking to you guys. There's Monkey all all bundled up here. And uh, I ended up, uh, well, we was pretty comfortable. Our sleeping bags go down to, uh, they're 50, 50 degree bags. And um, right here, I'll show you here in just a second uh, what time it is and the temperature. And... I'm getting my glasses on, of course, so I could see. But uh, this was about nine minutes long because we was just chit-chatting with you and, and talking about the day and about monkey's fish and uh, how she outfished me. And uh, <clears throat> there it is. It's 54 degrees at 10:38 p.m. Now it did end up getting down to 52 degrees that night. Uh, I got up a few times. Monkey got up a few times to go to the restroom and uh <clears throat> excuse me. And last last time I checked on it it was fifty two degrees is what it got down to. Now we got our our food was done, our uh steaks and uh we had a couple of good steaks, man, they turned out good. We was also talking about that here. And the potatoes turned out good. <clears throat> excuse me. And um uh, uh, our food got down about seven o'clock, so we had to eat inside the tent because it started raining pretty hard. So I ended up falling asleep. I looked at the clock; it was like seven thirty-two, and I ended up falling asleep, and which is unusual for me, which I was talking about here. I usually don't go to sleep till three or four in the morning, or sometimes I'll stay up all night, which I had planned on fishing all night, but. You know, I didn't want to, that was cold, so I didn't want to sit outside, you know, and get soaking wet. I would have been sicker than hell. So, <clears throat> I, uh, so I just, I went to bed and I did fall asleep, but I slept really good. I slept the best there. I slept in a long time because my tummy got full and hearing the rain on the tent and I was nice and warm in that bag, I ended up taking off my shirt and my hoodie there and, uh, just, curling up in my bag and and i was i was just fine i wasn't super hot so i didn't have to worry about sweating but then again i wasn't cold but if you can see it it ended up it started really really pouring in the a.m probably you know between one and three it got real windy and it was really pouring down rain so but th that's what we did here so i'm not going to you know sit and talk through this whole clip but uh, just to let you know what was going on, I did want to throw something in here for you and uh, talk about it. So I'm just going to go ahead and end the clip here. Uh, like I said, it's pretty boring just to sit and hear me talk. And you know, I can't remember all everything that was said here and all that. So anyway, you get the idea. It was 1038 or whatever. So um, it was a lot of fun. We forgot... <clears throat> We had two movies with us, two brand new movies I bought at Walmart to watch on the boat when I did my boat camp out, and I forgot to bring a laptop to watch them. Well, same here. We had the movies, but we did not bring a laptop to watch the movies. So, anyway, that's that's pretty much it there. That's what happened there. So, uh, all right, we'll get back to the rest of the movie. <laughs> Good morning everyone. It is 8.39 in the morning. We got up about 8 o'clock-ish. Uh, I slept pretty good last night. Monkey went up here to the bathroom. Way up there. And uh, we had a chit-chat with you guys last night. But I just realized something. I didn't have, I had my mic plugged in but I didn't have it turned on so I'll show a clip of that and I'll voice over for a minute for you, but yeah, things happen, right? So, 
damn it. Anyway, she's got her coffee on here. Helped her get her coffee started. So, got it going for her. And she's coming back now. There she is walking way over there. Where is she? There she is. <laughs> so wait till I tell her I didn't have, I had the mic plugged in, but I didn't have my mic on, you know? I just grabbed the camera and I didn't think them, cause if you don't, if you got it plugged in, but it's not turned on, not gonna have any sound, I just realized that. Ah, so. Hey, last night, huh? last night when we was talking to him in the tent, I, I didn't have the mic turned on. Oh no, so it's all silent? <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know. say good morning to YouTube. Good morning, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It rained all night. I didn't get to do any fishing. It poured. So. It poured. Yeah, but we stayed dry and warm, huh? Yeah, it wasn't really that bad. No. I thought I was going to be freezing. It's 54. We got the truck running because Bruno's in there. Yeah, Bye, buddy. So she wanted to warm him up, but I was pretty comfortable. He got down to 52. It's 54 right now, so and it's well, like I said, it was about 8:39 a minute ago. So I'll have some more for you. Just wanted to say good morning. So <laughs> okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and pack it up. I was going to wait here on her while she went and did her thing, but it's starting to rain again, and I would just be stuck in the tent. So I'm just going to go ahead and go with her. And I'll make breakfast when we get home. So, like I said, it's raining, so I gotta hurry up. We gotta get this tent down. We'll take it home. I'll stretch it out in the garage or something so it can dry. So, hang tight. We'll be back with you shortly. Okay, guys. So we went to get out while we was talking to the one of the neighbors there, and the other neighbor had left and came back and said. Did you guys get an email on a code on they changed the code or something it was like no and they said well our code's not working which was the same code i have and we tried to get out and we can't get out so there's some workers here mm -hmm. i think they're water people yeah they that's... got keys so they're gonna let us out that's bullshit. what if there was a, an emergency and we had to get home or whatever mm -hmm. you can't get out and Right now it's 10:28, and we don't have to be out of here until three. So apparently they changed the fucking codes. Hmm. Now the people they these guys let the other people out, but we don't know how they're going to get back in. So that's ridiculous. Ain't nothing but problems with this place. I know. You know, canceling us and letting other people come in with the gate wide open. And then, you know, now this, yeah. this is ridiculous, man. Stupid, what if there was an emergency? And why the hell they gotta have two vehicles for two guys? Yeah. They can't all run in one truck. Yeah, that's taxpayer's money there, isn't it? I, I don't know, but that's ridiculous. I am pissed off. I know if I had my Suburban, that gate would have been open. I guarantee you that. <laughs> yeah. I don't give a shit. Find me, but you know what? I'm getting out of here. Yeah. That's bullshit, you know? It is. Because what if, yeah, what if there was an emergency? Hey, your house on fire. Sorry, can't get there. Mm -hmm. You know? I mean, because we can't get out of the damn camp area. This is ridiculous. So, anyway, I'll kick you back on when we get home. Always something with us. It's always an adventure. Oh my. Still Thank good. God they were here because what if they weren't here? And then what would we have done? Oh, I would have got us out of here. I don't care. That's ridiculous. All right, guys. Because <laughs> I'm figuring they've got, see there's four locks on there. Yeah. And they've got, there's two locks with keys and two locks with codes. Mm -hmm. And the code locks would not work. So, mm -hmm. ridiculous. All right, we'll kick you back on when we get home to do our final outro things. Yeah.
Hmm. <laughs> what an adventure. Oh, always an adventure. And it's not that far from the house, and we still get into trouble. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> we don't even cause it. <laughs> Why would they change the code on us like that? They shouldn't change the code till 3 o'clock then. That's right. But still, I mean, I don't know. Crazy. Yeah, but you're right. What if you had an emergency and you had to leave, you know, and it didn't work? You know, what if? What about a medical emergency? Yeah. You know? Yeah. I have a stroke or something, you have to get me up here and ambulance have to meet you here and it's ridiculous. Alright, we're going They would have had to walk all the way back. We're there. heading to the house. Okay guys, so we're back home. Monkey's wanting breakfast, I'm gonna make her breakfast. And uh Hello. we did get out, so Hi, how are you? anyway, sorry I didn't have I wasn't thinking about unplugging that mic because I thought, you know, I'll be in the tent I didn't need the wireless mic. So, well, anyway, I'm going to have to get that out later and get it dried out. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, <laughs> what a morning, man. <laughs> so, I got some stuff coming today. So, what comes in, I'll show it to you. And, uh, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Yeah. That's the That's doctor for mom. And you're gonna stay there, or you're gonna set the table. Oh. So, monkey outfished me. So, anyway, say hi, mom. Hi, mom. Okay, so <laughs> all right, guys, we'll see you. Shea Bear is meant to be a legend. Thanks for watching, appreciate it. See you soon. Bye bye.